we got another Transformers game on the way. I'm happy. And it looks so good. But granted, don't judge a product by its trailer. It has the chance of being bad. But what I have seen so far, I am really impressed with it. So Transformers um, Reactivated is this... I think it's the online multiplayer Transformers game, if I'm not mistaken, that we were supposed to get a while ago, which we originally called Transformers Online, that it switched to Transformers Rise, and then it turned to Transformers Reactivated. And I have to say, I really like the trailer. And I like the cutscenes that were leaked, which were removed, and then people put them back on. I'm really liking what I am seeing. So the trailer is that um, Earth is in a post-apocalyptic state because of these aliens that came out of nowhere. People are theorizing that these beings might be linked to the Chaos Bringer himself, Unicron. Which, it seems likely. And the Autobots are like all dead or something. And they like rebuild an Autobot. Which theorizing is Bumblebee. Which it definitely looks like Bumblebee by the hands. And then let's get into the cutscenes. Apparently in the cutscenes we find out the Decepticons and the Autobots are working together against this threat. Which is something we really never get that much in Transformers. The two factions uniting against a common threat. There have only been, I think, like two cases of the Autobots and the Decepticons uniting together against a common threat in the real Transformers. Not like fan films or anything like that. That was Transformers Prime with Unicron and... Transformers Armada with Unicron. Hey, if it's Unicron, we unite. But those are the only cases. But granted, I haven't seen Armada all the way through. But what I've seen so far, I really like it. But anyway, continuing on. Let's get into the leaked um stuff that came out before the trailer was revealed. Let's start with the first one. It starts with Starscream's Perspective. Where the humans and the Autobots and the Decepticons find a message from Optimus Prime. Which apparently Optimus Prime is gone missing in this universe. Like, I don't know what happened to him, but he's out there somewhere. And he's explaining the circumstances and how... um. We can defeat this threat. And of course for Starscream. They brought back the guy who did Starscream in Transformers Prime. Which to be honest I'm completely okay with. Because he is actually a pretty good Starscream. Anyway let's get to the second leak. Which involved Ratchet. Ratchet was explaining how old he is. And how the virus is like a very smart virus. And... If it gets close to te technology, it affects it really bad. And Shockwave and Ratchet are working together to figure out how to um, destroy the virus. Then we get to see Ironhide taking um, Slipstream to the medical bay by Ratchet. Which the humans and Ratchet work together to repair Slipstream. And Ratchet's saying, we have a chance of getting this planet back. And then the lights turn off and he's like, keeping the lights on would be a great start. I got very Transformers animated Ratchet, which I don't mind. I actually like the concept of Transformers animated. Like, he's this old grouch who has seen a lot of things in his life. But yeah, I am liking what I've seen so far. Let's get into the designs. First, let's get into the first design that was revealed was Bumblebee. I actually like this design. It is a little bit weird in certain places, but I do like it. The vehicle mode is rad. Like, I like this. 
Like, I like how it takes inspiration from um, the original Transformers cartoon and makes something new out of it. Because I'm kind of getting sick of G1-ifying everything. I'm getting sick of it. Um, then we get to see Optimus Prime. Love this design. It's really good. And I would not mind a toy of this. Then we get into Megatron. Oh, heck yes. I love this so much. I really, really can't wait to play this game. And apparently more models were leaked, but we're not sure if those are real. One of them involves Ironhide with a giant machine gun on top, which... Nah, it's probably fake. But yeah, what I've seen of Transformers um, reactivated... I really like it, and I think I'm going to pick a copy up. There is a newsletter for Transformers Reactivated, which I think I'm going to go subscribe to. But with that out of the way, what do you think of Transformers Reactivated's trailer? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's okay? Tell me in the comments. Have a nice day, everyone.